Remember when a few months ago everybody were trying the toroidal propellers? Because I do. The idea was pretty simple. The MIT said that those propellers are good for the drones, so people started printing them, designing and in general using, at least as an experiment. From my point of view, the idea had a problem. The 3D printed propeller will never be balanced and the 3D printed propeller will be always less durable than the one that was molded. You know, this is how the 3D printing works. It's not the most precise way of manufacturing ever, but it's cheap, it's available and it's simple to prototype. Some time ago I got those, the toroidal propellers from Foxy, called Donut. Foxir Donut is the mass manufactured molded toroidal propeller. Or rather toroidal like because they change the shape of the blades and in general the whole propeller a little. It no longer looks like two or three circles glued together, it's rather the letter 8. And it has a different shape of the propeller blade tip, or rather the place where in normal circumstances the propeller blade tip is located. It's just a flattened on the outside letter 8. Eight. Let's put those props on my 5-incher and let's see what's really going on. Because they might be amazing. Not that I really think so, but they might. Now, to the VRs. First one from the standard propellers, the Foxir Dal Prop Cyclones from the last year. And then let's compare it with the new Foxir Donut. No stabilization recorded from the goggles, so you will see exactly what I saw. And the verdict is that, well, it's complicated. First of all, I can't really say that the Foxir Donut is a bad propeller, but I cannot say that it's a very good either. Let's begin with good things. First of all, the donut has a shitload of the grip in the air. After all, it's the four-bladed propeller only with the slightly, well, not maybe slightly, but a differently shaped blades. I also like the sound that they make. Instead of whining in the air, they rather growl, which until now it was rather a feature that only a bigger propellers like 7 inches or maybe even 10 had. And they look different for sure. However, there are a few things that are, well, problematic. First of all, while the donut works really nice on the rather low RPM, problems start to appear when you open the throttle. Those things, as soon as you open the throttle, they start to vibrate and in general, 
just do not feel smooth when throttle is really high or maybe even just high not really high cruising yes doing some more energetic maneuvers well maybe really not yes the vibrations both visible and audible can be greatly reduced by adjusting the pids mostly by lowering p and d gains but still <sighs> they do tend to start to oscillate when you really open the throttle. I also have no noticed that those propellers are more quiet than the standard ones. Yes, the sound is different, it's definitely lower pitched, but it's still pretty, pretty loud. And finally, the flight time. I'm not using the word efficiency over here, but flight time for a reason. Efficiency and the flight time are something completely different. In some cases, something that is more efficient might result in the lower flight time. Yes, I know how it sounds, but think about it for a minute and you will come to exactly the same conclusion. So, the flight time. I tried to fly in more or less the same way on both types of the propellers. And unfortunately, the Foxeer Donut in three tests out of three resulted in approximately 20% shorter flight time. Most probably it's because of the extra grip and the extra load the Foxeer Donut were putting on motors. More load, more power consumption, tighter turn, but still overall usage of the energy is higher. Is it a bad propeller? No, rather not. Is it a very good propeller? One more time, rather not. Looks cool, offers a lot of grip, sounds kinda cool, but if you are thinking about moving from the propellers you have right now to the Foxy Donuts, you might want to rethink. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but before you buy a bigger batch of the donuts, just buy a bag or two, check how they work for you and only then decide if you want to go with the toroidal or not. If you ask me, I'm not really 100% sure those really are the toroidal propellers. For me, they are rather a fancy shaped four bladed props. Here's the next video you should watch. This was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spechalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!